Hello everyone, Darren here with Renaissance Coders. Thanks for joining us as we continue the Enemy Designer tool for the Editor Scripting series. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how we can add some text to different regions of this window. Now, in the last tutorial, we actually colored this window uh, based on these three partitions here and the header up here. Uh, and so what we want to do is add text that says Enemy Designer in our header section, we want to add text that says mage in our mage section, and so on and so forth. It's very uh, easy, so let's go ahead and get into our code to see how this is going to work. All right, so what we want to do is go into our draw header function. If you're following with this series, you'll have this function. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll just write GUI layout dot label, and in that we're going to pass a string for whatever text we want to show up. And there's our text, enemy designer, in our header section. Now, this just so happens to be the default placement of uh, all GUI objects that aren't defined by rects or layouts. So we don't really know if our GUI layout.begin area is actually doing anything. So to prove that that's actually doing something, let's go into our draw mage settings and we're going to add that line of code outside of the begin area and end area function calls just to see what happens. And as you can see, the mage text ends up overriding or being placed in the same location as the enemy designer text. This obviously isn't what we want. And as I said before, this position up here is actually the default position for all uh, GUI that isn't restrained by a layout or a rect. So that is what we use begin area and end area for. So if I come up and I place that line in this region and we go back, then we're going to see that the mage text is actually showing up within the top left corner region of our um, mage section. So again, that's what the begin area and end area function calls are for. And that's how easy it is to add uh, text to our editor windows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. That's about it. In the next tutorial, we'll cover uh, how to add enumeration fields to select various options for our mage, warrior, and rogue. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.